Let's see if we can get, ouch. How did the potatoes that were planted in the garden bed versus in fabric pots do compared to each other? In this garden bed here, I have some fabric pots here that were planted with potatoes. All of the potatoes here were planted basically right on top of the soil with a little bit of soil and hay mulched over them. You can go back and look at how I planted these potatoes in the fabric pots just in the bottom of the fabric pot with a little bit of soil underneath and then adding soil as the season progressed. Generally you want to harvest potatoes when the soil's dry and we haven't had rain in a few days and I haven't watered these in about a week so these are ready to go. All of these here that were planted in the ground the plants have died back and those in the fabric pots are starting to look like they're ready to die back as well. Definitely ready to harvest. First things first I'm going to pull the hay or the mulch off of this portion of the garden bed. Got some fire ants in there. Oh, look at that. I got a potato right there on top. So there's a couple small potatoes. There's another one there. I thought I might find some little critters under that mulch. This is what I call a grass snake. I think other people call it a brown snake. Another thing I thought I might find under, under the mulch are uh, grubs. These are beetles. None of these are of the large rhino beetle, so these will all be chicken food or duck food. You can already see some potatoes up here on the surface. That's pretty neat. Also, lots of roly-polies. Those little boogers, those little, those roly-polies are responsible for taking out a lot of baby plants. Some people claim that the roly-poly or the pill bug only eat decaying matter. Well, I have a video that's several years old now on my channel that shows them attacking young green plants. And I know this to be true because I've caught them in the act many times over. Let's see if we can get some of these potatoes to rise to the surface. Oh, look at that. There's three right there. Let's see, how deep do they go? Not very deep. Apparently that plant only had three. There's a good one right there. None of them are deep, which is nice. That way I don't have to dig around. I don't have to stick a fork in the ground. Some babies pull another plant here and it looks like we got five of them on there lots of roly-polies they love this mulched bed there we go I find potatoes really amazing they're always fun to harvest because you don't know exactly what you're gonna get they're like a box of chocolates. So planting a small potato like that and getting four in return, well, that's a pretty decent return. More chicken food. Chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, 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 chick. Whoop. Here, chicken. Chick, 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 chick. Hey, where are you going? All right, it's either silky food or duck food. Let's see who gets it. Duck food. This is the harvest from everything that was in the garden bed in the in the bed itself, not a fabric pot. So we're going to keep this pile separate and see how the fabric pots compared to in the garden bed. I think we were averaging four or five smaller potatoes per plant that was in the garden bed. Let's see what we get out of these in the fabric pots. Most of the fabric pots were planted shallow and then uh, rolled up to be full depth and I tried to plant them at least three quarters of the way full with soil. One of those, one of them never got rolled up, so it'll be an interesting comparison to see how many potatoes that one produced. Let's see. Pull the plant out first. And we'll just dump this out in the garden bed here. Well, that plant 
only gave us two. Here's the one that didn't get unrolled. Check that out. There's the seed right there. That's the seed that was cut. Still a lot of, a lot of potato there. And it gave us two as well. Well, let's see. There might be something else in here. Oh, yeah. That one gave us three. Okay. Next one. Oh, there's a nice size one right there. Those are decent. There's three right away. There's chicken food that started to develop. Some kind of beetle that comes from those grubs. There we go. That's a nice looking potato right there. There's another grub. Them silly grubs. Actually, there's a few of them. There's another one. Looks like this pot grew a lot of grubs, but not a lot of potatoes. There's a potato. There's another grub in the pupa stage. There's another grub in the grubs. Wow, that, that pot had a lot of grubs. Let's see if we can get... Ouch! I've never had a grub bite me before like that. Let's see if we can get a chicken to bite him back. Here, chick, chick. Oh, rooster? <laughs> Here, chick, 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 chick. Ow! Eat him up. Chick, 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 chick. Right here. Chick, 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 chick. Come on. Show him how it's done. There you go. Juicy. Yeah, that one bit me. There's probably more coming. Don't go away. I told the story of this rose bush in my live show this morning. You can go back and check that out. It's the live show on June 6, 2020. Oh, look at that. I'm just gonna have to start a bucket of these right here. The next batch of grubs I'll take to the box turtles and you can see them. They really like to eat them too. We don't want grubs, we want potatoes. And there's a tiny potato. Nice potatoes. There's a couple. More turtle food. Does anyone keep them count? Am I getting more grubs than I am potatoes? I think I am. Alright. Another fabric pot. There's another potato. I'm telling you, I have never seen this many grubs in my fabric pots. Never. That's ridiculous. That one, I don't even see any potatoes. There's a potato. Okay, another pot. If we're keeping score, I think the grubs are winning. There's a tiny one. There's one. Man, I was starting to think I wasn't going to get any potatoes. There's another one. There's a good one. That's a nice potato right there. All right, another fabric pot. There's a couple fell right out. Well, at least I didn't find any grubs in that one. Oh, nice. Several in here. Beautiful, probably the best one yet. Nice one, nice. Three bags to harvest today, three bags remaining. Right there, look at that. So we have other bags, but those were planted later. So I'm going to give those a few more weeks of growth before I harvest them. All of these that we're harvesting right now were basically planted around the same time. So it was the fairest comparison between in-ground and in the bags. 
Well, there we go. We have everything harvested from the ground, or basically in the top of the garden bed. Mulch, hey, look at that. Good thing I didn't find him when I was digging around. Chickens love those too. There's a wasp on the, on the uh, gate latch. All right, which chicken wants a yummy, juicy scorpion? You? Now, try this. Hey, try this. There you go. Good job. People who are scared, often they get the name of chicken. Chickens are ruthless. They will eat each other. All the bags that were harvested over here, that's that pile. And then this is the pile from in the ground. I think considering number of plants, that looks like a pretty even harvest. I think planting them in the ground, I got the idea of planting them like that, doing them shallow in the soil and then covering them with a little bit of soil, a little bit of garden soil, and then mulch. I know our climates are different, but I really uh, wanted to try it like Hugh Richards at Hugh's Nursery, and it seemed to work out okay. They were easy enough to harvest because most of the potatoes were near the top and I didn't have to dig for them. If you already have fabric pots, I think that's not a bad way to grow your potatoes. I still like that. But if you don't have fabric pots, save your money. Just plant them, plant them shallow, and as the plants grow, put a little bit more soil or mulch around them. I'm not anywhere near a gardening expert. I'm just a guy that has a garden and I love sharing what I do. I've gotten pretty good over the years of doing a few things, but mostly every year is an experiment. Go check out Liz Zorob Gardening Demystified YouTube channel. It's where she posts her podcast. And recently I did a podcast with her and Hugh uh, from Hugh's Nursery. And it was a lot of fun just having that conversation. Share in that experience by listening to that. Give her a thumbs up and a subscribe and also comment below that so that uh, she knows that you're listening and we can help build this gardening community together. I'm gonna get these potatoes in the house and let them spread them out, let them dry out and cure a little bit. And we really love to cook with homegrown potatoes. Someday you should try it because the difference between homegrown and store-bought is pretty significant. One last thing, we gotta take the, these over to the turtles. I promised that I would show you how the box turtles, you guys see the, dr the sweat dripping off my face? The box turtles love grub worms. Now look at that, juicy worms. You don't get all of them yet because I don't want them crawling into the mulch. Come on guys. Anybody hungry for some grub worms? Oh, you are. Nice. Come on in, it's dinner time. Come on in, oh yeah. Much better than a hard boiled egg. Hey, I believe everyone has a story and every story counts. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your story and for you to be a part of mine. I said that backwards. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon.